Hello, I'm Jonathan al khouri a Christian Lebanese refugee living in Israel. In 2000, Israel was the only state to open its borders for us, for me and my family. I want to talk to you about something that CNN published and shocked me about the current situation happening at the Temple Mount in Israel in the last few days. CNN chose to put on an emotional piece identifying solidarity by Christians around the world with Arab Muslims here in Israel. A solidarity campaign that showed one Christian man standing and praying with Muslims in Jerusalem. However, CNN forgot to mention a few details to you, their readers. I'll try and help them out. The percentage of Christians in Palestinian territories went down dramatically since the 90s. Take, for example, Bethlehem, a holy city in Christianity. In the 90s, it stood at 60% Christian, but today that number is as low as 20%. What happened? Are there suddenly less Christians? I invite the Christians in the US and Europe to come to the Temple Mount and try to pray for Jesus. Within two minutes, you will be attacked by the Muslim Waqf and booted out. A few days ago, a Norwegian tourist tried her luck and found herself outside within seconds. Okay, here comes the waft. So I'm just gonna keep walking. Hello? Sorry, you need to go out here. I'm going now. Okay, please. Yes, I'm going. This way. Can you, can you tell me what to do? Okay, I want to tell you just to go outside. Praying here not allowed for non-Muslims. Even the Arab Knesset member that is considered to be moderate said few days ago while inciting the crowd that Jerusalem and the Temple Mount is only for Muslims. Here, you can see Ahmed Tibi for yourself. <laughs> The state of Israel is undergoing horrendous terror attacks in the last few days. Solidarity truly is important, especially during such difficult times. That's why I'm calling on you to take a minute to ask yourself, what is true solidarity for freedom of our religions?